Uh, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars Rise of Skywalker set review, and this time it is on the Resistance Y-Wing Fighter. So on the front of the box here is the, the LEGO Star Wars logo, the new Greebling with minifig Kylo Ren border, the picture of the set in action, Disney logo, all the minifigs included with it, and the uh, age recommendations 8 and up, set number 75249, has 578 pieces. And then from the back, see it in a resting position on some uh, snow planet. Not sure what that's about yet, but we'll have to wait and see. And on the front of the booklet, same picture as on the front of the box and everything, but kind of large for a booklet, which some people said in other reviews. And yeah, and on the back, how to win on the online survey. There's all the pieces include with the set. Add for these Skywalker Saga game coming in 2020. Add for all the fall 2019 sets and each me thing included with each one. And add for Lego Life and the last steps. First of all, for me, thinks is Poe Dameron, which yet a new version of it, which as which can kind of fit with the Adventurers Jungle lines and things, but does have the Indiana Jones satchel piece in, in some light tan coloring, the silver small pistol there, and has some good back printing, but the both face prints and this hair piece of it. Same as it's always been since 2015 16. It's like, why not give any new uh, prints to it? But whatever. And next up is first in time of having Dio, which is the new joy here. Like, so the sculpting of this one, which pretty much is pretty much perfection, like, has some good prints all around and treading for the wheel done good. And on the back head of which is a single stud to it, so you can attach certain things to it. And on the bottom is a little reverse stud to attach to anything as well. But besides that, nicely done. Oh, and also, is it a little smaller than BB-8? And yes, indeed. Because in the trailers, it's shown just a little brief bit of him, and he is smaller than BB-8. So, good job, Lego, making this character small. Oops. And next up is, is what they're calling just astromech droid, but however, it's some new kind of astromech droid that is in this dark turquoise teal color. But the front print of which done quite goodly. Okay. Done good and also back head print of which also done good. So at least the leg pieces good for mock making. And it was good to have some differenti differences in for your collection of astromech droids then. But I'm not sure why it's fully named or anything yet. And next up is the Snow Troopers. So it's the same as it's been since 2015. Like, same helmet, same torso print, and everything. But however, the white cape of which is new. I'm not sure why, but whatever. And also, that torso print also down there. And underneath, angry clone face. Annoying angry clone face. And lastly is Zori Bliss, which is all new to this one. And, and holding a couple of the mini muskets there. I'm not sure why they do that, because they're muskets and it's in Star Wars. But besides that, the torso front torso print of it done really goodly with all kinds of neat prints to it. And as the helmet piece of which it's very interesting. Like this like far back area, so, and if I lift it up, I expect a regular 
a face print of his wife? No! Plain black, just like with the Mandalorian in the ATST Raider set. But it has the back or some print of it, but besides all that, it's done quite good. And now, finally, is the Y Wing itself. Oh, which built quite similarly to past Y Wings, but except for some areas, like so far, like the upper nose area, with where instead of like white and yellow, it has a red kind to fit the resistance. That's for the upper area, which has some bit some more thick to it, a little more thick in the front areas, and it does have a couple of uh, little spring load launchers acting as gun barrels then. And I can lift up the cockpit area. And then there's, there's another uh, printed control panel piece, which of course is important to most vehicles. And this and also... Oh, whoops. Drop something. And of course, enough space to fit your Zori Blitz or Podamarine figure into it, like so. And moving up, there's a couple like little blasters on there, but just don't do anything much. And has a big open area, which is enough space with a jumper piece in it, enough space to fit your astromech droid figure into. Yes, but although the upper area, which kind of blocks his front view of which, kind of a letdown. But as for the rest of which, a lot of really good de greebling detailing. Like a lot of them like robot arms and also some good snot there. And also good use of these like tiling pieces acting as other detailing. As for both wing jet areas, which I was kind of done with stickers, that was there, and those. So some good techniques done there, and also a whole ton of seven long rods, and a whole ton of those pieces from the Nexonites line. So it was good for mock mix and. For the back area, which it does have those like pink uh, dish pieces acting as engine exhaust, also in the upper area of which. But as for this back, it just does have that little bar around piece. It's also acting as detailing. But as for the main feature, is which involves that gear and can like turn it and then it drop these bombs. Pretty cool. Also common of other Y-Wings. But for the bottom area, as, as you see, it does have the same uh, landing gear as the recent A-Wing also just did. And you can kind of see the spring load launchers, which are like kind of a bit exposed, but once they're launched off, it, they're well hidden in. And you can like that and it shoots like so. And so now on to a little comparison of this with the last Y wing we've got, which is the. Uh, 2016 Rogue One version. So, like, for the front, so this one of which a little bit longer than it. And also the same thing of like having the astromech droid's head turned to the side. Then. And also the head areas of which done quite a lot different. As you see, this is like more triangular or more wide open when this one's more thinner. And also the gun barrels are kind of more close together rather than spread out. Yes. It also does have a lot more greebling than the other version. But as for 
pulled back there and says, I was going a little longer than that version of the Also, the whereas the uh, place to put the bombs in, which is like more centered in, right? unlike with this one. Oh, which kind of good for that. Good props to them for doing so. And I guess that is about it for that. So now, on to the final verdict on this one. So, for the overall verdict on this set, of which, well, do get a good selection of minifigs first time having Zori Bliss and also having Dio in a set, other than if you want to get that one but not get the Millennium Falcon set, then this is the good option for it. And also do get a lot of good walkable pieces, and also, at least it's a good different form of a live wing. Yeah. And also get astronaut droid in turquoise color, kind of cool. And if you're looking to get this set for your collection, then of Rise of Skywalker, then go ahead and pick it up. And if you're looking to get a Dio and everything, and also a good selection of mocking parts, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's it with this video, and thanks for watching.